Hi, we're the Jelly Bricks, and you're about to learn more about us than you've ever wanted to know. Hi, I'm Garrick from the Jelly Bricks, and I play bass and sing. Hi, I'm Larry from the Jelly Bricks, and I play guitar and sing. Hi, I'm Tom from the Jelly Bricks, and I play drums and sing. Hi, I'm Bryce from the Jelly Bricks. I play guitar and I sing as well. Uh, I think for me, I was in junior high and uh, I was in my jazz band and <laughs> we were playing a concert for our st- for the fellow students. And nobody at that point really knew I played drums and I did a I ripped a drum solo in the middle of the song and like the entire like auditorium of all of my classmates stood up and like gave me a standing ovation. I was like, this is pretty good. Let's, let's, uh, let's stick with this. And now he's disappointed every time we don't give him a standing ovation after every solo. No drum solos Chasing either. Chasing that drag in the rest <laughs> yeah. of your life. No, it's just no more drum solos ever. That's fine though. I'm a, I've, I've, div- I've moved into a less of a solo guy, more of a song guy. <laughs> I think my Big Bang moment most influential would be when Penny and Leonard first met and you thought there's no way those two will ever date, but then they got together and it was great. I think my favorite part of touring is going into a new venue for the first time because you usually arrive sometime in the middle of the afternoon, the place is empty and you just kind of get that sense of the room. Uh, you, you get to see the stage for the first time and you get to put all your stuff up there and start setting up and I just really love that moment of taking in a new space for the first time. Uh, my favorite part of performing is in recognizing at some point in almost every show that there's a, a relationship that's been formed between the audience and the band. And there come those moments when you realize that you're enjoying something together, that we're playing the notes, but we're getting a response from the audience. And that's an electrifying feeling that's like being on a first date. My favorite part of recording is the way that the band starts, or any band starts with a blank slate. And at the end of it, you just uh, have this moment when you're sitting there listening to everything, all the hard work that you put into a track, all of the tracks, all of the parts that you put in there, kind of just mingling together, making a song. And I think it's kind of magic that that starts from nothing and then just kind of becomes this thing that your band creates together. I think my favorite part of recording is every part of recording. It doesn't matter if you're preparing to go to make a record or you're doing percussion or you're doing the six guitar overdub whatever it is it doesn't matter um just being in in the moment is every part is great for me my first time in the recording studio i had a little i had a really kind of crappy solid state amplifier and i remember saying to the engineer you're going to be able to make this sound better right And he said, no, actually, whatever it sounds like, that's what it's going to sound like. And that was a big lesson that I learned that day. It's true. (laughs) I think the best advice I've ever gotten that comes to mind right now, uh, my bass teacher once said to me, don't ever be the best player in your band. And I think that applies to more than just being in a band. You want to surround yourself with people who are really good at what they do so you can always be growing and learning as a musician and, and in other things. So, unfortunately, I am the best player in the band, so. <laughs> <laughs> that is unfortunate for everybody. <laughs> and I was about to say, I feel we're all doing a great job of not being the best player in our band. <laughs> the best advice I ever got was if you mess up, just pretend you meant to do it and do it again. And if you mess up, just pretend you meant to do it and do it again. And if you mess up, just pretend you meant to do it and do it again. And he does that every night. (laughs) (laughs) I can easily say my favorite musician to collaborate with is Garrick, Bryce, and Tom. Dang it, I was going to say that. And that's why I've been doing it now for 25 years. And now you know a little bit more about the Jelly Bricks, and knowing really is half the battle.